to the plug of audio net it's your boy cool kid my second special guest just stepped through the building yes sir harvey j what's up with you man cool how you feeling bro man i'm cool man i'm cool man for those who don't know he bull city bull born, city born and raised already and the first the first um venture of music that the city may know you from is from the durham boys yeah Tell us a little bit about the Durham Boys. Was that a collective of guys that came together and wanted the music? Or just explain a little bit about the Durham Boys. Yeah, Durham Boys is a collective of artists, man. We all solo entities, but we came together for the project, for the better, betterhood of, you know, NC hip-hop, stuff coming from the city. We just got records. We done done them together, and it's been well-received. Okay, so from the being with the Durham Boys, um, I guess time goes by, and then there's a bounce record, EDM bounce record, where... Trollface? Trollface, yeah. Trollface. From LA. Alright, so how did that how did that that was on actually that was on like the eggnog volume one. So how did that come about? Facebook. Okay. They reached out to me on Facebook and it's just crazy how that whole thing happened because I had just started doing EDM like two, three months before. It was actually about this time last year actually. And they just reached out to me and I thought they was lying because, you know, that's a huge camp with Ausler and all of that. So right. I thought, I thought it was some BS. But we got on, we jumped on Skype, bounced back some ideas, and I just cut a little hook in the living room at the time, and I just sent it back. And then ain't nobody say nothing. And then like a few days later, I'm just randomly scrolling through, and I see Skrillex playing it at the Venetian in Vegas, and I don't, and I hadn't even at that point, I hadn't even heard the full song. I just heard the track, like the little metronome skeleton of the beat. Right. I hadn't even heard the real song, but that was quick, man. So wow. he's on it. So was there a relationship after then? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, or, or Skrillex? I know you probably talked to Skrillex about it after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's They sent the paperwork over. Had to be two hours later. Like, it's mm. so fast, man. It's yeah. E-Sign, like, it's done. Yeah, so... Uh, well, we working on our follow-up record. You know, that was that was earlier. It was the top of the year. So we working on our follow-up record to definitely close out the year strong. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll be right back after this. We got Jeremiah. You're not tuned to the plug. Out of your net. I got Harvey J in the building. Yeah. On your page. It's yeah. on. Oh, my God. You're not tuned to the plug. Out of your net. It's your boy, Cool Kev. Call in 919 I got Bull City Zone, Harvey J. Yeah, Harvey J. All right, so we went from the ED, you getting acknowledged within the EDM record to start a little, little controversy. I guess you started yeah. a couple of months ago with burning a record deal on the, uh, I guess it was in Florida, in the beach. Yeah, 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 I was in Miami Beach, bro. So what, <laughs> what was that about? Wanna make a statement or what? Nah, what man, it wasn't about making no statement, man. It's just the deal won't, it yeah, won't crack in like 150 grand. What a lot of people don't take in consideration is the length of a deal. Like, how long is that gonna be? It's a seven year deal. I got homies that work at McDonald's that make more than 150 grand in seven years, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Now, I don't know if they would work at McDonald's for seven years, but in theory, there's more money than this record deal, this contract. So, yeah, man, it was just disrespectful. And so being down in Florida, was you, you was, um, I guess, you was being around some execs or some uh, influential people from the industry. Um, I noticed it was a picture of you uh, with YMCA and B. I don't know if you were signed or you was just... Yeah, yeah, you. Birdman and them is out there. You know, it's cool people, uh, good people to get advice from. But Miami is, you know, just a breeding ground and a summer ground for a lot of, a lot of cats to run through is just stunt and show off but the thing about miami a lot of people don't take into consideration is it's not really the best place to you know land a situation because everybody come out there to play and to drive their little ferraris and bugattis around ocean drive ain't nobody really headquartered out there so as far right. as like the business aspect it's more play than business in miami only real business out there is like tourism and if i wanted to start a club or something i would go to Okay. Miami, yeah. And so I guess while you was down there, you was with Master P with No Limit. No, nah, that was once I got in L.A. I Florida went, LA. Okay. yeah, so I moved to Miami at the top of this year in January, and then around, like, I went out to L.A. a couple times right before the summer, and then I went again 
in July, but I went out there with like two bags. I just had my little studio bag mm -hmm. and I had had my bag of clothes really. Mm -hmm. And I went out there thinking I was just gonna be out there for a week to be working. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another. I linked up with Rico at I Discover Stars and it just, stuff just started happening, man. And I ended up meeting people and Master P was one of them. Yeah, and then I just ended up at the studio a lot. And now, you know, that's one of my mentors. So it's, it's been, it's crazy. So basically more of the mentorship. Cause I mean, it, once the picture went viral, there was more the people who were thinking that you was, you know what I'm saying, sign no limit. So I guess it was just more of a mentorship in, for your, on your behalf. Every, you know? I don't know why people want me to be signed so bad, I don't man. I don't, don't nobody I mean. want, don't nobody want to see me just laid up on the couch no more. Everybody want me want to see me go corporate. Go, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to chill, man. Yeah. Yeah, and so I guess you was doing some records for P on while you was around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First day I was there, we laid a joint down called No Limit. That's going to be on one project. Okay, so. okay. All right, and so then, so going into that, you, you dropped off a couple of records for us. The first record is called Flexing. Flexing, yes, F-L-E-X-I-N-G. So is this one of your feel-good records where you just... It's one, of my, or? it's one of my talking records where I just like to talk, that talk, you know? Yeah. Cause I feel you know everybody, even if you come from nothing, you can flex. You can flex a flip phone. Right. You know what I mean, you can whatever walk of life you come from. I feel like flexing is a very open term and open statement to whatever bracket of life that you're living in, as far as where you at. It's just doing it. Okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and put the record since you. Know yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is OMG is Harvey J flexing live on the plug in C U. All right, your boy Cool Kill. We'll be back. Is there? What's going on? You are now tuned in live to the plug in CCU. It's your boy Cool Kill. Hey man, this flexing record is crazy. Flex. Crazy man. Flex. And so the flexing record, um, you know what I'm saying? Time goes by, and then you throw a little promo bids out here and there about pancakes and Hennessy. Tell us a little bit about. I mean, it's so explanatory, but. You know, for those who don't know, you know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit about the pan. I take this a new record. Pancakes and Hennessy is a record produced by Trail Got Wings. Homie, I found out about when I was in Metro with T God, you know, Taylor Gang of Die when I was out there on, on the Cali and I found out about Trail Got Wings. Okay. And man, he just showed mad love, man. He got me this beat. I straight ripped the joint off YouTube and did the record, and it just ended up being Flaming Hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm. So. It's called Pancakes and Hennessy, and it's, you know, just about my favorite mixture of death and destruction mixed with some little sweetness. Mm -hmm. It's pancakes to soak up some of the death and destruction. All right. Pancakes and Hennessy. Well, let's go ahead and premiere you. Oh, yeah, man, you know, Pancakes and Hennessy. OMG, it's Harvey J. All right, this is Boy Cool Care. We'll be back. Sure. All right, now tune to the plug audience. Sure. your Boy Cool Care. Hey, man. Pancakes and Hennessy. This drink gonna be the end of me. Hey, man. I, hey, was that Thugger on the, on the, uh, I don't the know. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like, oh, let's go ahead. It sounds like, sound like that. We might have to now. play it back again. We might, play like, yeah, we might, have to we play might just again. have to play it back again. We may have to, we may have to play that back again. But where can everybody hear, uh, where can people find you, I guess, via social media sites so they can see, um, well, uh, no album projects, coming videos is dropping. So where can they stay tuned? with Harvey, this is Harvey J. OMG is Harvey J. dot com is the the real plug, but you know, social media it's gonna be OMG is Harvey J. Facebook, I'm on there Harvey J. Durham boys, but you can find me just putting in OMG is Harvey J. All one word. Snapchat is OMG is Harvey J. Twitter OMG is Harvey J. Okay. Instagram, I'm not on there, but it's a fake Instagram going around. It's it's mo it's like it's multiple ones. It's 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 a fan page that's that's legit. It's a fan page that's legit, and it's like two three fake pages on there. Oh, okay, so the fan page. Is but I'm I'm down. technically not supposed to have an Instagram because I'm sponsored by Snapchat. So. Mm, yeah. So. That's the plug right there. Snapchat is OMG is Harvey J dot com. Okay. Snapchat is the future. Okay. You heard it, not me. Matter of fact, sponsored. I should be Snapchatting right now. They probably watching this like. Sponsored, right? Talking about what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even think I Snapchatted it in the past day. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. It's time to get Tragic. On it, bro. Travesty. It's time to get on it. 
But it's your boy Cool. Hey man, thank you for coming through. Oh man, already. Thank y'all for having me. It's your boy Cool Kale. You're not tuned to the plug up next. We got Yo Got It, Chris Brown. Hey man. Matter of fact, we're about to play this RBJ again before we even get to that. Oh. We're about to play this Pancake the Hennessy. Oh. We got to play it back one more time. For those one more who just time. Tune it in. One more time. If you're just not tuning in, it's Harvey J. OMG is Harvey J on SoundCloud. This is the Pancakes with the Hennessy, the diabolical creation. Here we go.